All right, guys, so you've seen from the title of this video, I'm going by in a secret set of Cobra Golf Clubs. I've got to be honest, they're a bit of an open secret. I only found out about them last week. I've never ever seen them on Facebook or Instagram, and I've never really been asked to review them. So I'm going to go and buy them right now. Now, there is some information on Cobra's website, and also they are available at some stores. But what's fascinating for me, it's a package set, and it's at a very decent price point. Now, what I've seen so far, it's a driver five wood hybrid. I think six down to sand wedge and a putter, plus you get a bag. And it's the price, it's not super cheap, but it's 650 pound. And I think that's a really interesting price point because certainly if you're brand new to golf or you want a set that is completely brand new, that you can go out and play with, that has everything, this could be a great option. Now, I'm gonna buy them, I'm gonna give them a test. And if they're any good, we might even do a little cheeky giveaway on them. Come on, let's go and find if they've got some in. So here they are. There's a few out on the shop floor. I'm gonna actually find out if there's a brand new box one up. Look at this, I'm actually gonna keep the suspense. I'm not gonna unwrap them. But look at this, irons, putter, the driver, woods, Cobra Fly XL 649. Like I say, it's not super cheap. But if you get all that included in the bag as well, is it going to be any good? Let's find out. And just like that, we're at the golf course, ready to unbox this set. Now, two things to note. One, I've not been custom fit for them and you can't get a custom fit really for a package set. So these do come in regular steel, which aren't great for me, but I'll take that into consideration when testing. I see this set being aimed at three different types of golfers. First off, a brand new golfer. Comes into the game, doesn't know what to buy. Bang, you get everything in the box. And two, somebody who just doesn't want to make too many decisions. Like buying golf clubs can be quite challenging, certainly if you don't know what you're looking for. And three, the recreational golfer who wants to turn up with the clubs that look nice just to play a handful of rounds a year and certainly when it's a big brand like Cobra's a reputable brand in golf as were the Callaway edge set that I tested the, the other secret set of golf clubs I've tested in the past that's kind of who they're aimed at less decisions is good and then my last point why do brands make sets like this certainly when they don't massively advertise about them well I think Cobra or Callaway or whoever make a package set, hope that that new golfer who picks up this set of golf clubs becomes a Cobra fan for life, let's say. The next set they buy might be Cobras and so forth and so forth. That's kind of where they're aimed at. Because this isn't their big hero product. You're not gonna see Bryson DeChambeau using this or Ricky Fowler, but it's an entry point, it's a starting point. And for the price, like I say, it's not ridiculously cheap, 650 pounds. But if you were to buy each of these individual clubs plus the bag, it'd probably rack up as much higher, way over a thousand pounds, I would guess. Right, without further ado, let's open it up and see what they actually look like. And here they are, the Cobra package set of clubs, the Fly XL. First impression, the bag's pretty nice actually, blue and white. It is a trolley bag, so when I go out playing in a minute, I might actually hire a buggy and stick it on the back of a buggy. Head covers for the woods, which is a bonus. Putter with a head cover. Listen, they're not the best quality head covers in the world, but can always be replaceable. But at least it comes with them. Let's have a look under here. Nice, in fact, you know what? Let me take all the wrappers off. Let's have a proper look at these clubs. So here they are, all unwrapped in their glory. And you know what? They're a decent looking set of clubs. Something new about nice, shiny, never been hit clubs before. Driver, nice enough. Fly XL, 10 and a half degrees. Like I say, the, this is gonna be in a regular graphite, so it might be a little bit whippy for me, but even like the grips, like they're genuine Lampkin grips, which is a good brand. What's this, a five wood, 19 degrees, little hybrid at 23 degrees, good. Irons, a little bit of forgiveness there in the bottom with a cavity, almost like a bit of an undercut as well. That's from six down to sand wedge, which is a good little bonus as well, because you need a club with a bit of loft. And then you've got a nice putter. That putter's nice again. 
Nice grip, proper actual putter grip. Almost looks like a bit of milling on the face. Just a little blade, very traditional, unoffensive. I like it. But looks is one thing, yes. But are they gonna perform? Are they gonna fly well? Are they gonna feel good? Are they gonna work? That's the big question now. So without further ado, let's head on the golf course and uh, play some golf. Okay, so just check the tee sheet. I need to wait about 10, 15 minutes. There's a couple of groups just going out ahead of us. So I'm gonna do some warm up and do some putting first and try and get used to this putter. I just wanna say though, gotta give some appreciation to this bag where it's, where it's due. Just about to put it on the buggy and it even has like a, what they call a pass through. So you can wrap the strap around it so it doesn't fall off. It's pretty good. Now I must admit at the moment, I'm probably looking for a new putter. The one I've got in the bag, I'm quickly not getting on with. Um, safe to say this isn't the putter I'd be choosing. It does the job. Yes, obviously it gets the ball rolling along the surface. It just feels very light and there's not a lot of softness off the face. But again, if you're brand new to golf or you're not playing golf loads of times, this would do the trick. Now, I mentioned earlier that I might do a little giveaway on this set of clubs. So, Let's set the scene. If I hold one of these to there, we can do a giveaway to win the full set as used in this video. Uh-oh, <laughs> that had a lot of break. <gasps> oh, <laughs> we've come down to the last putt. I could have cho chosen an easier putt. Don't disappoint, right. To win this set of package clubs, you gotta like this video. You gotta leave a comment down below and you have to be a subscriber to the channel. This year, we're getting super close to 2 million subscribers. Let's see if we can do it. So all your support is very much appreciated. And I'll pick a winner in, in a month or so. So get your entry in now, like, comment, subscribe to the channel and you can win this set of clubs that I'm gonna use in this video. Oh, and by the way, I'll ship them to anywhere in the world. Right, so we're on the first hole. And you know what I'm gonna do to start things off? I'm gonna play really seriously. Let's get a couple of holes down, understanding these clubs, what are they good at, what are they not so good at. Um, and then I'll pick it back up on the third tee and give you, I need a golf ball, don't I? I've literally got three golf balls and a handful of tees, so if they're not very good, <laughs> we uh, might have a chance of running out of golf balls. First hole, par four, let's hit this Cobra. Fly XL. It's probably going to go a bit high for me, but let's uh, let's start off strong. For right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is the first hole. Over there is the second hole, which runs parallel to it. We might be on a fairway. It's just not on our fairway. <laughs> I said we'd be on a fairway. <laughs> oh. Ouch. Oh, that would have been a good par then as well. Or a good par save, should I say. Carry the bunkers. You know what, I think it might have one. That's a decent hit if it's carried those bunkers. Oh, 
think it might start raining. There's a bit of black cloud coming over. I've heard a rumble and a thunder as well. So we're gonna have to be quick here. Right, no word of a lie. Like the greens here, I can't remember how long this hole is. I think it's about 360. I reckon I've not, if not hit it over 300, it's very, very close with that drive. This is where it matters though, a little pitch up the green. Simmer, simmer, simmer. Put the brakes on. Yeah, that's not bad from there with a the sand wedge. I probably needed a little bit more loft which this set lacks. But we're putting for birdie, everybody. But I tell you what, these clouds above are getting very, very dark and very noisy. I think it might chuck it down. Come on, let's get back to the level part. Let's make a birdie. I don't think it's the putters at the moment. I think it's the person holding the putter. Par on that hole, not too bad. Right, we've just seen lightning. We're gonna take a rain check. We'll be right back. Okay, so shortly after that clip, it started thundering and lightning and torrential rain started, which meant we could no longer film that day. So we were two days later on. And I've jumped onto this hole, the 13th hole. So I'm gonna play three holes now. 13th is a par five, then the 14th a par three, and I'm gonna play the 18th hole another par five. I think it's gonna give me opportunity to hit every club in this bag. Let's get going. It's a bit more bit chilly today. The weather's not improved that much more, but let's hope I can continue hitting this driver as well as I did on the very last hole that we just saw. Par five, straight down the middle, that's what we wanna see. Draw in a bit, draw in a bit. Oh, it's not bad. I don't think it's in the fairway. Let's get down there. Five wood out the bunker. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Absolutely flushed it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't quite control that. It's gone through the back of the green annoyingly. Ah, I thought I hit that well, but it's flown too far. Maybe a bit too strong, this sand wedge. Par on there, I'll take. Now, let me give a summary of what I've found so far. Overall, these clubs are decent. Like the performance has been pretty strong. I found that the driver has gone okay. I mean, it's not as far as what I'd expect from a brand spanking high-tech Cobra driver, something like a Rad Speed, but it's good. It performs well. It's easy to hit. The irons are just like any forgiving irons I've hit, really. Quite a nice head shape. I feel like they offer quite a lot of forgiveness. Um, I could do with a little bit more loft in this set. So I think if you were to get something like this, you might want to invest in a lob wedge as well, just for those little shots around the greens if you needed. The putter is a very, very lovely head shape and, and actually looks overall really good. It's super light. Like, there's not much feel from it. Bag's good as well, actually. Um, you know what? It reminds me very much of the uh, Callaway Edge set I tested a few a couple of years ago that I got from Costco. Well, that, it feels very similar, that kind of category, really. Now, could you get better clubs second hand? You probably could, if I'm honest, because you are going to get a more high tech driver, better irons, a better putter. But if you don't know what you're looking for, it's really challenging. If you're just after a set that is a complete set that's brand new, this isn't a bad shout. I've got two more holes to play, a par three and a par five. There's one thing I've not done yet, I've not made a birdie. Let's see if we can finish strong and make a birdie in one of the next two holes. Zoom in because it's going in in the bunker. <laughs> Miles away. <laughs> it's 
There was me looking for a birdie. I've now got a 10 foot for par. <laughs> Okay, next hole I'll get a, a par or a birdie. Downwind, par five coming up next. <laughs> okay, I know I'm, I missed that putt, but it did get me thinking. A putter like this, I mentioned how nice a style it is, and it is, it's such a traditional blade. But for somebody who maybe wants to buy this set, or even the Callaway Edge set that I test in the past, Maybe the putter category could be something that's improved, either a slightly bigger head, slightly more mallet, one for more forgiveness, and two for better alignment. Because even on a putter like this, there's just not much to it. It's very simplistic. I think for the golfer who's gonna buy this set of clubs, they want forgiveness. And I think a putter is an area that can definitely be improved. Last old par five, let's go. Finish with a birdie. Stay there. Oh, that's okay, top of the bunker. We'll have a shot into the green from there. We are on the green in two, but we have got a very, very long putt coming up. You know, it's closer than I thought it was. A chance for Eagle here. Now don't forget, if you want to win this set, and I think they are definitely a set worth winning, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. We'll pick a winner in the next few weeks. Let's finish off, I'll get the pitch mark in a minute. Let's make Eagle. Couple of big breaks in this, up the hill. Like I said, I'd be delighted with Birdie. But I'd be even more happy with the big bird. Oh, you're joking! <laughs> I gave it an effort. In for birdie, and thanks for watching. Oh.